This tutorial covers how to set up your fee structure within HIP Office. This is obviously one of the most important uh, settings that you can have and it's very important to set everything up properly because this is what affects how much money you're getting paid. Uh, the fee structure option is under settings menu. You just click on fee structure, it'll bring this up. I'm gonna go ahead and collapse that menu. Uh, you have a list here of your primary services. So I'm going to go to residential first. Uh, default settings are what will cover anything that you haven't set a value for. So if you have a service but you haven't set specific prices, the default is what will take effect. So we're going to go to residential. Now the first option here, we're under size. So the first thing is how does the size of the property affect what your fee is? So here under um, set maximum size, this is the max size that you're willing to have automatically calculated. So for many people at a certain size, you're going to have to bring in extra inspectors. You're going to have to hire separate electricians or HVAC specialists to come out and help you out. And so you don't want to have that automatically calculated out. So um, what we can do is we set this, for example, at let's say 5,000 feet. And so any price over this, uh, will be put into a draft so you can sit there and manually set the price. Now what you see below is the entire range of prices. So right now I have from 1 to 2,000 feet I'm going to charge 350 and from 2,001 to 5,000 I'm going to charge $500. And I can easily modify this. So let's say I want to say from 1 to 2,500 I charge 350 you'll notice the next box automatically adjusted. Um, I could come down here and say, you know what, I only want this price range to be good until 3,500 feet. And at 3,500 feet, I'm $500. And now we need to add a new line that covers from 3,500 to 5,000. Uh, you have a lot of flexibility here too. I can say my, you know, my zero to 2,500 is 350. My 2,500 to 3,500 is 500. But over 3,500 feet, I switch to square footage and maybe I'm at uh, you know 10 cents a square foot at this price range. So you can actually have a combination of per square foot or an overall cost uh, for each um, for each range within your price. And when you're done with this, so go ahead and click on save. Okay, so next we're going to look at how distance affects price. So again, we have the, uh, the maximum distance for our automatic pricing, and this will vary greatly depending on you know, where you're located. Uh, if you're located in a, in a large metropolitan area where there's tons of traffic, you're probably not as willing to go as far because uh, traffic could drastically affect your driving time as being out in a rural area. Um, so in you know, my area, Southern California, let's say I only want to go up to 50 miles uh, and have the pricing automatically calculated and then over that um, I would need to manually set what the price is for that inspection and if someone was booking online then I would have to come in and it would be in a draft mode so I can give the actual price. So for here I can say you know from 1 to 30 miles I don't charge anything but from 30 to 50 I'm going to charge 25 cents a mile and I'm gonna save. Okay, next we're gonna go over our add-on services. Remember we have a primary service such as residential or commercial and then within that we can have primary services you know such as thermal um, or sewer scopes that are an add-on to that main service and some things can be both as well. So right now I'm looking at residential inspection and for this inspector we have uh, four different add-ons that are there, termite inspection, mold, sewer scope, and thermal. And for each of these, I can set a flat cost or a per square footage that I'm going to charge. So for termite inspections, I'm going to say I want to charge an extra five cents a square foot. For a mold inspection, I charge a flat $200 fee. For sewer scopes, I charge a flat $150 fee. And for thermal inspections, I charge a flat 10 cents per square feet. 
So looking at this, this uh, these add-on prices only affect the residential inspection that is set right now as the primary service. If I was looking at my commercial inspection primary service, then I can have a separate set of fees that affect the add-ons that uh, go along with the commercial inspection. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. All right, the last thing we're going to discuss is the discounts and other fees. And this is something that we'll be adding a lot to as time goes on. Um, right now, the way that this is set up is you're allowed to add discounts that will affect the overall price um, for each category or, uh, or an individual primary service or a discount off the, off the distance. But this affects all users. So this is really useful right now if you're trying to set up a, a holiday sale, for example. And maybe around Christmas time, um, you want to give uh, you know 100% off of your your distance fees, um, and so you can come in here and say, you know, I want this. I'm going to enable this, and I'm going to give everyone 10% off my primary service. So 10% off the residential inspection, and I'm also going to give half off of all my add-on services. So you see I have 50% and I have 10% uh, off those different services. Or I can set an overall discount. Another thing what you can do here is add in uh, other fees. So for example, let's say I'm in a state and I need to add a state tax of 5%. This will be automatically calculated on the, the cost of the inspection after any other discounts are applied. Um, I can also apply other fees in here that I might want to manually apply. Um, maybe there's certain zip codes where you charge a little bit more money so you want to list these fees um, so you have that, that in there for you to select when you're choosing the inspection. But this allows you more flexibility and we'll definitely be adding more to this screen here as well. Uh, this covers the, the main different uh, fees that you can set up. You can set up your fees based on size, distance, add-on services, and then discounts. Um, we'll obviously be adding to this as we get suggestions from users, so if there's another way that you see that you calculate your fees at, please let us know and we'll look at uh, how we can integrate that in to help you out. If you have any questions on this, please email us at help at homeinspectorpro.com. Click on the help desk on our website or feel free to give us a call at 888-750-4777.